hi guys so today i'm going to be doing a video on one of my personal favorite genre of fragrances so i don't know if i mentioned it yet but i'm having a moment right now with creamy fragrances i've always been a fan of like creamy sandalwood fragrances but i only had like one or two in my collection but i'm having like a full-on moment with creamy smooth sensual fragrances i went through phases of my fragrance journey i went through a gourmand phase where literally all i would wear was gourmands like i would wear gourmands in the morning in the night in the middle of the day at work whatever i was doing i would wear gourmands i also went through like a tuberose phase where i was loving just tuberose now to be honest with you guys i'm not the biggest fan of tuberose like it has to be done very well for me to really like it and want to wear it then I think I went through another phase, but I can't remember. I think gourmand, like, I really, like, hammered the gourmands out in my life. And now I'm not so much into, like, super gourmand fragrances. There's a time and a place, don't get me wrong. They're still my favorite type of, one of my favorite types of fragrances for sure. But I more so wear them, like, at night. Maybe it's because I'm in Dubai. And in Dubai, oh my goodness, guys, like, right now, we're in summer it is unbearable like it is unbearable you can't even go outside without wanting to puke like i'm not used to it the humidity the heat it gets to like 50 degrees most days like 47 is like the average and it's just it's horrible like it's really the only downside that i really don't like about dubai is the heat it's horrible and uh for me wearing like gourmand fragrances in dubai it's no but usually you guys know me i'm very much into them Anyways, I'm going on a massive tangent right now. I have in front of me five of my favorite sensual, seductive, creamy, inviting fragrances that I cannot stop wearing. I love. I have four that you guys have probably seen me talk about. One of them I talk about all the time. But then I also have one in this list that I've never spoken about. And it's one of my favorite fragrances at the moment. Like, I cannot stop wearing this fragrance. This is my opinion. If I wanted to include 50 fragrances i could but i really only wanted to include the ones that are my personal favorites that i cannot stop wearing and that i think are the best so let's just get into the list i'm going to start out with one that i wouldn't really say is creamy but to me it's very sensual and this is nishane's annie which is my favorite from nishane i do like this house it's not my favorite house in the entire world but i feel like they have very high quality scents for the money that you're spending you get a great high quality scent and a lot of their fragrances are very long lasting and very strong which i love nishane's annie is one of my favorite vanilla fragrances because it's not too much like it's not too sweet too heavy too thick but yet it's still very sweet and very long lasting so for me this one is creamy and powdery and very warm and balsamic it has like a warm spicy feeling to it it has the beautiful creamy vanilla note and some benzoin, which benzoin is a very warm resinous vanilla smell, which I love. I love benzoin in my fragrances. And this one, I just love it. It has ginger in the top, so it has this little kind of spicy fresh kick at the beginning. But then when it settles down, it becomes a lot more creamy, soft, smooth, powdery, balsamic and warm. And I just love it. Like I said, it's very long lasting. And this fragrance gives me a lot of compliments. Like I'm not joking. Actually, every single fragrance in this list gives me a lot of compliments, which I know some people don't care about it, but I'm just mentioning it. And it's probably because I wear these fragrances like the most, but still. Nishane's Annie, love it so much. It actually looks like I haven't even touched this, but it's because when I spray it, I only use like two to three sprays because it lasts such a long time. So definitely one of my favorites and I recommend it to men and women equally. It's 100% unisex and I just love this one. Okay, so next up, Usual Suspect, Santal Complet. As you guys see, I wear this one all the time because it has one of my favorite notes in fragrance ever. It has sandalwood, but it is just the sexiest sandalwood fragrance ever. Again, 100% unisex, but I love this one so much. It's where my love for fragrance Dubois started. It's smooth, creamy, coconutty. It almost has like a, a feeling of like Baccarat Rouge 540. Like it has this burning, sweet smell. There's vanilla. It's just amazing. I cannot tell you guys enough. It's vanilla, coconut, sandalwood. I just, I love it so much. So many of you guys actually bought this one because of me. And I can't tell you guys how much I love this scent. It's soft, creamy, powdery, sensual, seductive, inviting. It's what I like to wear to bed a lot because for me, it just puts me in this like 
this mood, you know? And uh, I'm gonna be honest, the longevity on Santal Complete is not amazing. It doesn't last like 12 hours plus. It lasts on my skin like five hours. But for the scent, I just love it so much that I cannot live without this one. You guys can see I wear it all the time. I'm not joking. Highly recommend it. Santal Complete from Fragrance Super. Well. Okay, so next up, another usual... Actually, no, I don't really talk about this fragrance that much, but it's one of my favorites. It is Carlisle from Mali. Definitely a very sensual, creamy, smooth, beautiful fragrance. It's a gourmand, but not too much, which I love. It has like this very smooth, creamy, Dior Attic type of feeling to the scent. But it doesn't smell like Dior Addict at all, so don't think that uh, it's the same fragrance, because it's not. But it just gives me this super refined feeling. It has patchouli in here, but the patchouli is super, like I said, refined. Sometimes for me, patchouli can either go this way or this way. And what I mean by that is it can be really earthy, pungent, dirty patchouli, like in Angel from Mugler. Or it can be like this in Carlisle. And for me, the patchouli in here is just incredible. It has a sweetness. It has this beautiful creaminess, a woodiness, a touch of smokiness, like touch, like not a lot though. Sometimes I describe it as like white chocolate and that's because the feeling that it gives me is like white chocolate, but it doesn't smell exactly like white chocolate. Definitely a creamy, sensual fragrance that I just love wearing. Saying that, one or two sprays, like this is a beast mode fragrance. Like when I say beast mode, I mean it. It lasts all day on your skin. It projects like a beast. It's very strong. It's gonna get you compliments. It's a very like intense fragrance, but yet the DNA of it is that beautiful, creamy, smooth, sensual fragrance. So Carlisle from Mali, I love, love, love. So next up is obviously another usual suspect. I'm gonna go through it very quickly. Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. This one to me is more feminine for sure because it's a beautiful, creamy white floral, every time I smell this one. Guys, this is like my signature scent. I actually have slowed down on wearing it because I'm at the bottom and I use it for more special occasions. So when I go out for dinner with my boyfriend or it's a special occasion, I like to wear Rouge Malachi. I wore it on my birthday because actually I don't, don't think I wore it on my birthday. No, I didn't wear it on my birthday. I wore a Mali actually. Anyways, I wear this one all the time. It's a beautiful white floral mixed with amber and some very skin-like touches. It has this beautiful, I don't even know how to describe it, but I smell like a sunscreen note in here, which I just love. It's a white floral without being obnoxious, which sometimes I told you guys, like I'm not super into white florals anymore because I feel like sometimes they're just too obnoxious. They smell a little old, they're too much, and I'm not really into it. For me, this one is just perfect. It's that balance between being a feminine white floral, but it's got the beautiful, sexy, sensual, ambery notes, the skin-like notes. Uh, a sweetness, a creaminess, a floralness. I just love it so much. I cannot say enough about it. Rouge Malachite from Armani, definitely one of my favorites. Okay, and drum roll for my new but crazy obsession. And this fragrance is from BDK. And this is definitely my favorite from BDK and it is Gris Chanel. Now I know, one sec, most people's favorite from BDK is this one, Rouge Smoking, which is a great fragrance, but it's not super unique, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of fragrances that are like this, like Sweet, Almond, Heliotrope, that sort of vibe. Don't get me wrong, I still love it, I have it right here, that's why I love it, and I wouldn't have got it if I didn't love it. But Gris Chanel, I have two bottles of this actually, and I have only owned this for like four weeks, and look how much I, not even four weeks, like three weeks, and I have been wearing it almost every single day and I am obsessed with this scent. Like I cannot tell you guys how much I'm obsessed with it. And again, not if people care, I don't care, you don't care about compliments, whatever. Compliments are a controversial topic, but I'm gonna cover it anyway. Literally every time I wear this, I get a compliment. I was actually just the other day in Sandro, it's like a French clothing brand. And I was just looking around and the lady in there was like, oh my God, you have to tell me what perfume you're wearing because I cannot stop smelling you. And I was wearing Gris Chanel. It's just incredible. It's exactly what I'm into right now. And it is exactly what I want to smell like. It has this nuttiness, like it definitely has this like nutmeg smell to it. It has a little bit of a powderiness. It's mostly creamy. It's very woody and creamy. 
a little spiciness, but I mostly get this nutty feeling, a woodiness, and a very beautiful creaminess. There's some iris in here as well. I believe there's some cardamom. There is a tiny bit of a sweetness to it, but without being too sweet. And for me, this is just exactly the type of fragrance that uh, I love right now. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot stop wearing it. I get so many compliments. It surprisingly lasts a long time on my skin. And I say surprisingly because sometimes fragrances that are, for instance, like Santal Complet, they tend to eat your skin, you know, wait, no, your skin tends to eat the fragrance and you don't smell it after a while. Gris Chanel lasts so long on my skin, on my clothes. It gets me so many compliments and it projects a lot. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed me mentioning my favorites right now of like creamy, sensual, inviting, warm, sandalwood, creamy fragrances like i'm just really having a moment with these scents right now by the way i didn't mention but the bdk is 100 percent unisex actually my boyfriend wears it as well and we both are obsessed with it so yeah anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and yes let me know what you think and let me know if you have any favorite like creamy fragrances because please let me know like please 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 let me know and i am going to spend because it's my favorite type of fragrances right now like i just love anything creamy smooth nutty like i'm really into it right now so and don't recommend Santel 33 because i don't like it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon Bye bye